Do you sometimes miss the good old TurboVision from Borland that used to ship with the Turbo Pascal as well as Turbo C++ under the brand name Borland Turbo Pascal Borland Turbo C++ IDE that used to look like something like this? If yes, you are not alone. To be honest, sometimes I fire up my DOS box to just launch the Turbo C++, write some sort of code, I spend some time for nostalgic purposes, nothing serious. The good news is that you don't have to launch your DOSBox anymore thanks to the project TVision. This is the modern port or re-implementation of the TurboVision that is cross-platform, supports Unicode and run on any modern operating system including Windows, macOS, Linux as well as BSDs. The caveat, let's say, of this project is that it's not shipped with the compiler and it doesn't have the syntax highlighting, compile or debug. Here we can see there were options for debug and compile. Here it's none. Nonetheless, you can use this one as a lightweight text editor in your terminal and it's also very versatile. It adapts based on your term terminal specification. For instance, I tried it over serial connection, only black and white, low speed, still it launched and I still could actually see it. And on top of it is actually and truly cross-platform. You can compile it without any issue or headache so there's no porting involved here but if you want a bit more there is a sister project of the tvision called turbo by the same creator by the same person who created tvision and this one is more or less like tvision on a steroid it has the syntax highlighting for c and bunch of other languages as well as this file explorer here this one also is very simple and straightforward to compile and run on openbsd it has just only a small gotcha that sometimes you need to do it but not all the time so my focus on this video is to run turbo since it's more feature rich and it really doesn't add any sort of overhead the entire project once you run it is just like two megabytes so it's super simple and straightforward let's go to the installation process the first thing is to install a bunch of dependencies and that one is git cmake libmagic excel and xclip git and cmake are compulsory and the rest of it are sort of optional but i highly recommend you to install all the optional packages as well so here it's mentioned that libmagic is for the better recognition of the file types libgpm is just needed for linux and xclip and excel are needed for the clipboard integration between the turbo environment and let's say other applications and if you are using wayland in linux then you need to install wl clipboards so once you installed all this stuff you need to clone the repository for that, just copy the git address, type git clone, dash dash recursive, and then pass the URL. This recursive here is super important because the Turbo project is dependent on the TVision and it, the dependencies is resolved via the git sub module. So if you don't pass the recursive, then TVision won't be part of this project and then your compilation will fail. Now we have to go to the turbo directory and then continue with the make command. So here we have to run the CMake and this one. So let's copy it, paste it, but don't run it. So here is the small gotcha that you have to be mindful of it. If you decide to install and go with the libmagic, again, I highly recommend it. Then you need to pass an additional flag to specify where the header file of the libmagic lives. This is a, a bit more or less like a quirk of the OpenBSD as it locates the header files for the third party in a different path. So you have to specify DC, DC make then cxx flags then pass dash i user local include this just tells the cmake hey the header files are supposed to be here as well just inspect it and after that 
just type cmake dash dash build dot. This is going to compile and build the project. It will take a while. So I'm going to pause the video and continue once it's done. The build process is finished and if we do ls we should have an executable called turbo here so let's try to launch this one and now we have the full turbo environment at our disposal so if i try to open a simple source code that i have written just in time here you can see it has a very nice syntax highlighting and for example i can create the new here new buffers and with the f6 i can switch between these buffers as well very nice very simple super adaptive and straightforward so let me also show you in case that you want to run this one without going to the path how you can do it so as i have said the project is super lightweight there is a single executable and this one is 2.6 megabytes and to my tests so far there is no runtime dependencies so all you have to do let's say copy the turbo here go under your user local bean and then paste it and for example if you if i launch a new terminal here and just type turbo i have it here and it's working that's all for this video thanks for watching have a great time cheers